Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey, how everybody doing out there? It's me, Charles. So happy that you can come here. I'm excited. My next guest, you know, we have these strong conversation behind the scenes. She knows what she's doing. She's strong at what she does. And I'm happy to have her on a Friday. Just make my weekend just go fantastic. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Let's go. Hey, how you doing? Here's the thing now. If you ever wanted to advertise, but you're looking for a different way of advertising, you want to do a market, but you don't know how to do it. Social media is so big, you need to get a taste of it. But how do you start? Where do you go? Well, my next guest is going to show you how to do it. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Maggie to the show. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Thanks for having me. <laughs> how you doing? You good? Good, good. Oh, man, we were behind the scenes talking up a storm, how marketing <laughs> works, how we can help people push, how we can do things. But before we get started, I know you, but the people don't know you. Tell us a little bit about who you are. OK, well, hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Maggie. I go by Curry's Maggie by my YouTube channel name. And um, I was born in Guyana, raised in Jamaica by Haitian parents. And now I'm here in Canada working and I have a YouTube channel and I also offer YouTube consultation services. I just love to help people through information and creativity. So that's a little bit about me. All right. So here it is. Last night, um, I stayed up uh, to do my own YouTube channel. All right. Before <laughs> I, here's the thing before, you know, they said you got to be on YouTube. So I put up a YouTube channel and just flooded it with this information. Every time you, I did something, I just put it on YouTube. Mm -hmm. and I'm like, okay, that's just wrong. <laughs> You know, after a while, you learn, you learn, you learn. So I went to my YouTube channel and looked at it and go, this is a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't even, it wasn't even a brand of pizza because, you know, you had, you had like anchovies over here. You had pineapple on this part. You had, <laughs> it wasn't a nice pizza. How do we get started? What, what about YouTube is, is so big and why should people even think about calling you to get onto YouTube? Okay, that's a great question. So with YouTube, it's basically a search engine and it's owned by Google. So you, you can't go wrong right there. And right now, everyone is pretty much looking for videos and that's the way they get to know a little bit more about your services or your company. No one is really flocking towards like pictures like that much anymore. They want to know the person behind the brand. And people fall in love with you first before they fall in love with your products and services. So this is your opportunity to showcase your personality, who you are, and just get people to know a little bit about you. And then when they trust you and they build this relationship with you, they are able to then, you know, be a loyal customer because that's what you want. You don't want a one-time customer. You want customers for life. Um, so with YouTube, it gives you the opportunity to post videos, giving information, documenting your journey. If you're documenting like your entrepreneurship journey, um, motherhood, whatever your niche is, whoever your target audience is, it's just a great way to be able to put videos out and do just be you basically. Well, here's a question. People always say your target audience. Yes. <laughs> Here we go. The target <laughs> audience. <laughs> yeah, the target audience. I know when they say, you know, you open a business, who's your audience? And people say, well, everybody's my audience. And like, no, not everybody's your audience because mm -hmm. you need to narrow it down. But then when it comes to YouTube, like you're like, oh, but this, this channel is good for this person and this channel is good for this person. I'll get more views or I'll lose people. How do you know what to target? How to target? How to target. Okay. Yeah. So the great way to help you is not to first off think about a niche in particular because that's how you kind of limit yourself. Think about the people who you want to reach behind the camera. So if you're a single mom, for example, you love cooking. If you're thinking, okay, I'm a single mom, I'm targeting other single moms that probably don't have time to cook. So I'm giving them easy recipes that they can make in under 20 minutes. And right there, you can get single moms plus 
a busy university student or a busy, you know, young millennial like myself who probably doesn't want to do a whole lot of cooking. They just want simple, easy stuff. That way they can have time to do other things in life, whether it's volunteering, starting a business, whatever the case might be, just hobbies overall. So just because you go into a niche, the niche can actually be broadcasted, split off as a tree. Because you're yes. going for one, but if you hone on that one, you might get a little bit of other pieces because it kind of fits. So don't yes. think, well, I have to go this direction to go this direction. Stay in your lane mm -hmm. and then you can branch off a little bit. Yeah. So that's the beauty with YouTube. Um, you can actually start off broad, but that's why it's important to think of who you're trying to target because you can do all different kinds of content. But if you know who you're targeting, it really doesn't matter what kind of content you do. So if I'm targeting, for example, millennials who they're looking for a job, I can do my videos in a series of vlogs documenting, like, documenting my own personal experience. I can do information tip videos. I can do like different things, you know? It doesn't have to just be like, here, sit down, here's a bunch of information videos. There are different ways you can convey your personality to people because there are different options of how you can do your videos because you're thinking about the person who's watching the video because you don't want them to get bored. So you kind of mix it up a little bit with the different kinds of video you do. So not focusing too much on what the niche is, but just focusing more on who is a person, what are they interested in, and how can I get them to be interested in my content with what I provide? Okay, so speaking of getting bored, <laughs> how, do you keep the, how do you keep it exciting and not too long? Like some people, like when I'm flipping through YouTube, it's like, boom, I'm like... <sighs> I gotta watch something. Something's drawing. I have to watch. Like it hasn't even played yet, but just looking at the thumbnail mm -hmm. is drawing me in. So how do you know? Okay, what do I take? What what is what's relevant? Do I do things that are relevant at the time, mm -hmm. or do I, do I just keep in my lane and just keep going? You can mix it up. That's a great thing. You can mix it up. So don't limit yourself to, oh, well, this is my little box. So people like to see that you have a personality. You're not a robot, right? So if you can do videos that are relevant to the time, it does help in, you know, discovering, you're getting discovered on YouTube. Um, but you do want to mix it up with some what you call trending topics as well as um, evergreen content. That way it never goes out of style. So, for example, right now, a popular thing is probably um, with like the Black Lives Movement, for example. If you did a video specific to that from the viewpoint of a business person of how people can support black owned businesses. Right. That is like, it's relevant to right now, but maybe like a few months from now when all things have calmed down, cause you know how people are after a while, it's not in style anymore. No right. one's really look checking for it. Right. Um, you at least still have your regular content that two years from now, it's still relevant. Like how to step up, how to start a business, um, how to price your products, those different things. Those are content that never goes out of style. So you mix it up mix it up okay so then the question is we get the channels we want the channels how often do we post so the good thing with that is you don't have to post every day <laughs> you will tire <laughs> out yourself and your viewers okay Ooh. let me tell you <laughs> okay it's not like twitter not every day. okay no like i say honestly two or one times a week is enough depending mm -hmm. on your posting schedule you want to think of it as you have a series so you know how on netflix right or if you're watching a tv show on um, abc or hbo you mm. have to wait every week for a new episode right, right they give right. you just enough for that week they have you ponder on it for a whole week and then a new mm -hmm. episode comes the following week that is how you can tease your audience as well on YouTube and giving them something to anticipate every week. And also it gives people who didn't get the chance to watch your video on that specific day a chance to catch up so they don't feel overwhelmed. Like, oh my gosh, I didn't get to watch the video and I feel like such a bad supporter. And it's like, no, you have time that you can watch it. Like I post every Thursday, for example, right now, mm -hmm. people know every Thursday at noon, a new video goes up. So okay. it's like anticipation. So yeah, just work with your schedule because that's the other thing I encourage people. You need to do what's based on your availability. So do you work um, full-time? Do you work part-time? Do you have kids? Do you volunteer? Are you on a board of different things? What is your time looking like? Because you have to take these things into account when you start. Because if you stop posting for a certain period of time, mm -hmm. you, could, you could lose audience too. Okay. We talked about that. We talked about that. Uh, 
YouTube is good for business because when people know you, then it's more personality. But mm -hmm. but does YouTube have like analytics or stuff to help me narrow down? Like you know, with Facebook, you can target yes women between twenty five to thirty five. Mm -hmm. Is there something like that in YouTube? Oh, yes. YouTube is great for that. Um, it actually tells you way more than Facebook will. It tells you where the people are viewing from. It tells you the ages of the people who are watching. Um, it also can tell you, you know, where people start watching your videos and where they kind of like mm, die down a little bit. So the attention span. So they call it watch retention. So then that mm -hmm. gives you an opportunity as you're going along with your YouTube journey. You analyze your analytics and say, okay, right here, I noticed people dropping off in this video. What do I need to do differently? Was it probably I was talking too much about myself without getting into the point? Because right now, okay. people are very impatient. They just want to get right to it. Come and give me what out. I came for <laughs> and shut up, right? <laughs> so. get get up. Yeah. Okay. So that, that's actually great because that means that if I'm talking, 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 and then I'm like, okay, now we're going to go into... Uh, the time that you all know about is um, talk with whatever. <laughs> and then I always see for the every three episodes, it dies at that point. I'm yeah. taking that. I'm taking that out of my program mm -hmm. <laughs> because it always dies at that point. That, that's great. I didn't know that. I didn't know that you could do that with YouTube. So it shows you different things and what brings yeah. people in. Okay. Yes. So how long I've been, I've been on some YouTube channels where it's like, how do I fix my phone screen? And it's a quick two minute video. They show me how to oh. fix it and I'm out. Mm -hmm. And then there's some of them where it's taking me, well, I bought this cell phone in 22 and I even bought it in this <laughs> one. And then here's a screensaver. I like my screensaver because it's blue and gray. And is I'm like, okay, are you going to show me how to fix this thing or not? Or not, yeah. <laughs> how, how, like how long is too long? How short is too short? Okay, that's great. So with YouTube as well, if your purpose on it is getting discovered and also in the long run, being able to monetize your, your videos because you did put work into it. The viewers are watching it for free, no charge. So you might as well get a little profit off it. Um, it's great that you prepare beforehand. So you need to have what they call a script. You don't necessarily have to be reading off the script per se, but you need to break down your content into bullet form. So that's what I do because I can rumble and rumble. <laughs> so I'll put, you know, this is what the video is about. And right. there are three points. And this is how long I want to talk for each point. So I already said each point, two minutes. If I realize it's going on too long, that's the great thing about YouTube because you're editing before you put it up anyways. I cut out anything that I see was like too much, you know, too much information or not not relevant i can use that for another video maybe so that's another thing space out the information you don't want to give too much in one video do mm -hmm. it in another video so that people are coming back you want to reel them you don't want to give them too much man you know <laughs> give them just a bit so they are keep okay. coming on right don't, don't give them the whole no, no man don't thing. give them the whole just you know the what the video is about so if yeah. the video is about how to fix my phone right in three points you tell them this is how you fix your phone. And in the next mm -hmm. video, if you want to learn how to fix your camera when it looks right. all fuzzy, yeah. check me out next week. Okay. 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 So it draws them back. It's like, yeah, I want to learn more about this person, how they fix this, how they fix that. Exactly. All right. So, so far I've gotten that you need to get the content, mm -hmm. put sure, make sure it's, you know, it's short, sweet, powerful. Okay. Yes. Know your niche, get it into a certain area. So, okay. You don't go all willy nilly all over the place, find your lane, go with mm -hmm. your lane from there and then move on from there. Mm -hmm. okay. But also know that it, you can, ch um, there's room to change the nature of your content because the thing with analytics, it tells you what works and what doesn't work. So I know some people, for example, they probably did a mix of content. They probably provided like social media tips and right. also entrepreneurship. But then they notice the social media tips are the one that are gaining more, you know, views or attention. Okay. So they started to, you know what, this is what my area is, social media tips. Okay. And so they did less. Mm -hmm. How do we know? Sometimes I feel like if people say, oh, there's too much already. And I go, what do you yeah. mean too much? They want to put a video out on how to fix the phone. Mm -hmm. When you go on YouTube, there's already 300 videos on how to fix the phone. Yeah. Why did you put another video out on how to fix the phone? Well, it's about your delivery as well. Because 
there could be 10 videos on how to fix your phone. But as you mentioned, someone could be talking too long before they get to the point. So they're already a turn off. Mm -hmm. Another person, they could be boring. Nobody likes boring people on YouTube. So that's already like a turn off. (laughs) And then they come to you and like as they click the video, it's like, hi, everybody. Like it's already like this burst of energy or just, you know, different things. Like you can be creative. You don't have to do your things the same way as everybody else. Mm -hmm. You can do your things very, very differently. And right there, you're already building what they call a tribe, a fan base, a family that it will reach a point that it doesn't even matter what you're posting. People will come watch. Like I know people watch content creators while they're eating soup okay stop please <laughs> please, please the I loyalty yeah i don't get it please get it's it. the loyalty i, I see kids they're, they're watching this is what i don't get people are watching people playing <laughs> video games so oh like, yeah so i'm like yeah. what are you doing oh i'm much yeah. watching him what is he doing he's playing a video game Oh, so well, him playing the video game, yeah, watching, like, yeah, because he's giving them something that they don't know. So, for example, people waste lots of time trying to get to a certain level on a video game. It's right. frustrating. Mm-hmm. And here comes this guy or this lady telling me how I can beat the level. And they're going to show me. They're not just telling you. They're showing me. So it's like, oh, you know where you were going wrong. So the next time you go play, you can go brag to your friends like, yes, I reached level 10. Right. Because okay. this person provided it. So that's okay. why. <laughs> okay because i'm like how are you sitting there watching this person watch this person watch that person <laughs> and then another one is that you'll see them talking about you know uh one person is watching videos and just commentating on videos but you watch it because his commentary is funny so it's like is youtube mm. taking over for tv if, if it's what is youtube taking over for tv because i see more people watching um, YouTube videos than they're actually watching tv true um in some way i would say just because with youtube once you have internet connection you don't need cable right Mm -hmm. so if everything you're looking for isn't necessarily on tv and you want to get rid of like those what they call like long commercial breaks (laughs) youtube is another avenue and also you're watching someone that kind of seems more down to earth they're not being paid by like a production company to tell you this information or whatnot it's like they actually tried it they're showing you and they're you're seeing the results through them okay so here's here's the one thing people are are, are probably thinking charles get to the question how did (laughs) you How do we make some money off of YouTube? <laughs> you see people making thousands and thousands of dollars. People are quitting their jobs because they're, you know, they're a YouTuber and they're just sitting. So they're like, Charles, just ask the question. How do we make money on YouTube? So the question is right after this commercial, we'll be right back. <laughs> Immigrant Women in Business, IWB, is a non-profit organization bringing together women from over 50 different countries around the globe. These women have now made Canada their home and share a common goal of providing value to their new sisters. Our motto of We Are Stronger Together resonates with all members and with a diverse membership of business leaders, entrepreneurs and community builders our goal is to make Canada better and provide guidance and leadership to those that follow. CMJ Entertainment is a one-stop shop. CMJ Entertainment helps people to do any type of events, and it's a marketing tool as well. So we'll cover everything from start to finish. If it's a wedding, we'll make sure your wedding is over the top. And if it's an event, we make sure that everybody gets information at the end of the day. Give us a call at 416-414-8964 or online at cmjent.com. Yes, we're back. And see, I'm learning. I, you know, I'm learning. <laughs> Reel them in, right? Grab some more. You know, have them sit there hanging <laughs> on. So I'm learning. I'm learning. We are back and we're talking about, you know, the YouTube. You know, I'm going to be a star. You're, she's going to show me how to be a star on YouTube. <laughs> how do you become a star on YouTube? Oh, honestly, be yourself. Don't try to imitate someone else. Think about the value that you're bringing to people and work on the delivery of that value to your ideal audience. And yeah, basically just go along with the process. Like it's a process. Everyone's growth case is going to be different or success in the time frame. So don't get discouraged because you're not reaching your goal immediately because it could be that there are certain things you weren't doing initially. And once you know the tools that you need to do to get those things done, you'll see the fruits of your labor. 
Okay, so before you know, I teased everybody about the money. How do you get money? Money, money, money. They want to know how you get some money on YouTube. Well, first, I will say that you definitely have to be consistent okay. on YouTube because it requires. So, in in short form, because this is public information, anyways, I don't have to train you for this. You need to have at least a thousand subscribers, mm -hmm. and you need to have at least four thousand watch hours within a year before you can start being monetized. And after you're monetized, that is when you're allowed to put ads on your videos. It doesn't even start to pay you as yet. You got to start making <laughs> ad revenue. So you need to reach a threshold of at least $100 uh -huh. before they start paying you out every month. Okay, so hold on, yeah. hold on, hold on. So I need 1,000 views, okay? No, 1,000 subscribers. 1,000 subscribers. Uh -huh. So I need 1,000 people to click that button and hit the subscribe. So exactly. that's why everybody, so I'm, I'm like, sometimes I'm like, stop saying it. You know, oh, yeah, they stop, have to. stop saying it. Click here, yeah. right here. My video here, yeah. click here. I'm like, is it's this the new? call to action. Oh, it's not a new yeah. dance. It's no, not because the thing with people is if you notice people follow instructions, if they hear it more than once. Yes. So if you just said it in one video, you don't say it in your rest. Other people are coming who probably don't know what is subscribing. Like you have to guide them like, yes, subscribe. You like this video, subscribe. Okay. So, so okay. at least a thousand subscribers and four thousand watch hours within a year. So that's why when I say you have to be consistent, you that can't just be putting once a month. Okay. Unless if you have a bunch of people watching those videos, then it won't add up to that four thousand watch hour time that you need. Okay, and I can tell you're a veteran because you you did both hands really like you already knew. Where you, where you... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, so you're a veteran already. <laughs> So here it is. We need okay, so we'll get this right. A thousand eyeballs to, to click the button. So now they're, they're your tribe. Okay. Mm -hmm. You need four hours of watching. Four thousand. Four thousand hours of Watch watching. Watch hours. Yep. Ooh, so that means within a year. Within a year. So if you do a 30 minute video, <laughs> the ratio between watch and the number of videos yeah you got so this is something it's not that easy you gotta you gotta you it takes time you gotta put it out there exactly okay so yeah. then when, when do you get that, that the money the, the the little plaque that plaque that oh, says you get the money the plaque so the plaque is actually accomplishment that you've reached a certain amount of subscribers so you get okay. your first plaque when you've gotten to a hundred thousand Subscribers. Yeah. So okay. that is not the money plaque. That's just the you've gone to this. Oh, um, oh, time out, time yeah. out, time out, time out. <laughs> what do you mean that's not the money plaque? If I get over that many people, I don't get no money. No, as in like as in like that is not the plaque to tell you that you have started making money. You could make money before you get to a hundred thousand subscribers. Oh. That is just the yeah. So for example, right now I have a thousand and some subscribers on my channel, mm -hmm. but I have like over a hundred some K views. Um, oh, okay. So then, um, what, what, as I said, with being monetized, that is just the requirements you have to get to be eligible to put oh, okay. ads on your videos. And once you get to that area, then mm. you have to now make at least in revenue, um, ad revenue, a hundred dollars a month before you start getting paid out. So if you're uh, if you only okay. make fifty something dollars in that month because of ad revenues and whatnot, because people mm -hmm. have to actually watch your ads tips. Guys, if you want to support someone for real, watch the ads. <laughs> um, if you only have 50 something in ads, you won't get paid because you need to reach that $100 threshold for them um, to start okay. paying you out. Yeah. So, when we go, so everybody, <laughs> when you're watching her video, do, watch not click, do not click forward past the ad. <laughs> watch one at least. Watch okay? at least one ad. At least one ad before you go, uh, no, support, support, support. Watch an ad. Okay. <laughs> Speaking of watching ad, can you tell them what type of ads you want? Um, yes, when you get to a certain um like when you get to a certain part of YouTube, yes. you are then eligible to pick the kind of ads that you want on your video. I, that's a feature I've recently just seen. Okay. Um so yeah, once you get to that accomplishment part. Then but until then it's just willy nilly all willy -nilly, nilly and nilly. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. all right so then here's the other thing too so we got the focus you need mm -hmm. the views you need the content you need to have your storyboard this is great for analytics it tells you who does it this is great for business because once people understand who you are and they can trust you 
then they can start trusting your value. So that's when people say, hey, today's show was sponsored by yeah. blah, blah, blah. I use it. I think it's great. They send me a thing, blah, blah, blah. Try it out. Mm-hmm. And they go, wait, if she said she like it, you know. I, then I it must it. be real. It's something real. She tests it. She likes it. She sends it out. Gotcha. Okay. So here's a question. I don't do this, do this but I'm going to do it for you. I'm going to pull this up and I want to know. How do we get started with you? What do we need to do? Tell us how we can get started. And, you know, what am I looking for? (laughs) Um, So to get started with me, honestly, all you have to do is give me a call or email me. It's pretty informal interaction. Just getting to know each other, seeing what it is that you need, because everyone's level of what they need for YouTube is differently. So that is how the um, pricing of my services will be structured for people. Um, so, yeah, like, just let's have a conversation. Let me see what's up and what is it you want to accomplish on YouTube. Beautiful. So here's your website. It's yeah, so right those are here. some series I have on YouTube. Okay. And then you actually go, you have, you have more than one YouTube channel? No. So I have series. So that's another pro tip for watch time. It's yeah. good to structure videos in a playlist. That way videos can be like run through, like watch after the other, after the other. So Fit the Culture is actually my series where I interview people about different cultures. And I interview those individuals so that they can help, you know, break away from the stereotypes that we're used to hearing about different countries. And that is just one series that I have. Surviving University is one that I did when I was in university, just giving tips to those who are new to the university life and how they can survive university, basically. (laughs) Okay, so here, here's the last question, because I want to ask it, but I want to make sure that it comes out. You have the YouTube channel. It's out there. Yes. How do you let people know you're a YouTuber? How do you promote your YouTube channel? Oh, my goodness. I use it everywhere I can. Facebook, Instagram. When I go to events, I have my business card. It's right on there. Um, interaction with people. Like, I let them know from the get-go. I work full-time as a social worker. However, I have a YouTube channel, and this is what I'm about. If that's something you like, come on and check me out. Okay, so it's always pushing. You're always pushing constantly, pushing your brand, pushing your YouTube channel for ongoing. Yes, you have to. It's it's a part of the process, right? You just you have to let people know or else they won't know. Okay, so here we go. We're going to have a couple of people. Boom. Uh, you go, girl. Hey! What's <laughs> up, Bill? <laughs> Thanks for watching. That's my friend. <laughs> and then we have right here, very nice. Love the interaction approach. There it is. And it's it's cultural. It's, you know, we, we do this together. So there you go. Thank you. All right. And then right here, one more. There you go. Okay. Okay. Glad I could help. <laughs> so this is what I like about this. So like you see people are watching, people are getting engaged. So now we can help others. So if yeah. you need help, you have something. And here's the question. Do you have to do it to make money or can you do it for fun? You can do it for fun. But here's the thing. Don't think of YouTube like YouTube itself as the one that's making you money. As I said, a lot of people use YouTube to push their business. So if I start watching your videos, you're someone who seems really nice. I like your content. And you come out with an announcement that you have a book. Mm -hmm. I'm going to buy that book. So just from YouTube, you're driving traffic towards your website for your book sales. So even if you're not making YouTube money directly, that's okay. This is just your way of shining, letting people know the different sides of you, that there are other parts to you. And this is how they can connect with you of either getting services or products of yours and just connecting with you. So don't don't feel hard on yourself if you don't get the thousand subscribers or the four thousand watch hours in a certain time. It's a part of the process. Just have fun with it. Do what you can make genuine relationships with your subscribers and push just push your business and yourself. All right. All right. So this is what we're going to do. If you need help, uh, if you're just coming in, checking out the channel, she helps you with your YouTube channel. She shows you how to really get your YouTube channel going, how to do it properly. And, and you know, I could dive into a lot more, but, you know, I'm going to bring you back on so we can talk about it. <laughs> the other part, too, with the YouTube channel is like, here's the question. And mm-hmm. I really sometimes people. <laughs> How do you get the angles? How do you make sure it looks properly? Okay. Cause mm-hmm. right now I can see behind you, you have a green screen. 
right? Yes. You, you set up your own little studio to make sure that the videos look professional because if it doesn't look right, yes, you're gonna watch. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring you back on. We'll have another discussion about okay, doing things profitable. We talked about YouTube, what is great, but mm -hmm. is it this way? Do I got you. The setup. Oh yes, for sure. I can. I can definitely help with. It. Yeah. All right. Um, so just to let my um your audience know. Anyone who contacts me, I do offer a complimentary 30-minute consult um, consultation <laughs> session. <laughs> um, so if anyone must wants to have a chat, I don't charge you for just getting to know me, letting me get to know you and see what it is that we can work together on. All right. So that is 647-904-6504. And then I have to thank a couple of people who, who you know, brought you on. Yes. Right there. IWB. There you go. Thank you so much. <laughs> There's lovely ladies. You see me interviewing a lot of these lovely ladies from this because it's it's all about the brand. Talk about the brand. Talk about them. And yes. you are going to be hosting in part of a. Yes, we're Hi. having an event about image, um, confidence and networking and um, also self-esteem. So that's what this event is going to be about July 9th. July 9th. And what I'm yes. doing right now is if you guys want to see what more, I just put it into the comment chat. So you can go online in the comment chats, click on it. And then right there, you'll be invited. You'll get your tickets and you'll see her live speaking. Doing what she does best. <laughs> All right. So it's been that time. It's time to the end of my show, but it's great to have you on here. But before we let you go, you have to do the queen wave. You have to say hi to anybody out there. This is your time to do your shout outs. The floor is yours. I want to say thanks to my parents for always supporting me. Thank you for my subscribers and everyone who has been sharing my videos. Thank you for IWB. And thank you for you, Charles, for being such a wonderful host. Uh, not a problem. <laughs> it's, fun. it's always fun to have people like you on that, you know, just want to get it out there and help other people. And that's the main thing. You want to help other people show their brand. And that's why yes. you know, thank you so much for being on the show. Thanks for having me. I'm going to go practice my <laughs> tomorrow. Uh, see, the thing is, I don't, it's the camera. Like, do you, do you point down here, subscribe? See, all of that, all of that. I can you, see you'll, you you'll, you'll show us how to do it, right? Yes. All right. <laughs> all right. We'll talk to you soon. <laughs> all right. Thank Bye -bye. you. Bye. Hey, everybody. So if you ever want to, you know, get into the videos, and here's the thing that we didn't talk about. A video is like your calling card. Think about it. If you people want to know a little bit more about you or, you know, do advertising, this is the easiest and freest way to get advertising because you're putting out your own content. It's YouTube. It's for free. You can direct people to it. So why not do it? Think about it. All right. Like I say, you didn't have to watch, but you did. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Have a great one. Stay tuned. I always got more shows just for you. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. It's come to an end. But the fun doesn't have to stop here. If you have any questions, suggestions, or feedback, head over right now to Twitter and Facebook and like, share, and get involved. Join us next time. Please be advised that this podcast is meant for educational and informational purposes only and is in no way a replacement for legal or medical advice. The opinions contained within are solely those of the interviewers and interviewees and should be received as so. Those seeking help or advice are encouraged to obtain professional legal and medical services.